So the city skylines, plazas, and promenades DLC destroyed our last city. Which is probably for the best because it was designed to cause people to suffer. But now that we could build walkable cities, we can build a perfect city. So today we're going to be starting a new one with that objective. We're going to be playing on the map called Cape Apple, and our goal will be to make an OCD utopia. So hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to City Skylines, where, yes, we are playing on this new map. It's supposed to be New York City, I'm pretty sure. Like, this is New York Island, or whatever it's called. This is Long Island, and I guess that's New Jersey? I don't know, I'm Canadian, I have no idea how all that works. Anyway, we are getting started with our new city today. We are going to make a little OCD paradise, and it is going to be fantastico. Number one, I find the most difficult part of this game is just getting started. So just super quick before we really dive into everything. I have a basic template I always follow when I'm starting a new city. And once I'm started, it's much easier to keep going. So first up, I align all the roads to the actual grid of the world. Then I make kind of like a key. Two roads side by side. Then I round them out, making something of a roundabout at the end of the day because we can upgrade to new roads. Actually, wait a second, what's this? One-way road with wide sidewalks. So it doesn't have parking, but it supports walking. Yeah, those are actually the best. Parking looks super annoying in this game, especially when you're building a roundabout. So we'll have those, and that can connect there. And then I connect this up to the main highway, whatever the game gives us. And I really like this design a lot because later on in the playthrough, we can upgrade this all to a highway and have the highway just go like straight through and probably down over this way. So future kids will be very pleased. Anyway, we can finish that up. We can make that a full on roundabout because why not? We've aligned everything now so we can get rid of the measurement road. And at this point, we just want to split up the traffic between a residential and an industrial zone. So over on the right here, we'll have our residential area. And we'll do the same thing on the left, and it will be for the industrial. And we're going to make these one ways, because we want the residential people to enter the roundabout just to go over here. And we want the industrial traffic to dodge residential, for the most part, and enter through here too. Then the industrial traffic can go out this way and the residential people moving into the city can go in that way. Of course, <laughs> this usually runs into a little bit of a problem where people just want to go from A to B and there's only one option, so the traffic here gets a little crazy. So the last thing we'll do is we'll add in a nice little bridge in between here, and that's pretty much it. Just fill in the rest of the roads, and we can just get to power and water and all that jazz. And because we're just starting out, we're just going to build a coal plant for now. Don't worry, it'll be gone in the future. And for all the poops, we're going to use this Eco Inland Water Treatment Plant so it won't ruin the water and leave us with a big problem to deal with later. And one of the most satisfying things about this whole design is you can just have one pipe and it covers everything. You gotta love it. And okay, power, water, looks good. With that all settled, we are good to zone. Since we don't have a lot of options, everything is pretty basic. Except one other little trick I do is I don't like to build directly on corners. Because sometimes I like to upgrade the roads like this to a four lane or something like that. And if it deletes the building, we lose all the leveling progress and that's sad. But aside from that, that is the city start. Let's let her rip and build. Wait, did I forget anything? Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, we're good. Power, water. <laughs> the power didn't reach. No, somebody built a shop, okay? Oh, they built a store. <laughs> and it's all connected now. See, it's fine. Everything's fine. And our city has begun. Oh, but speaking of, I have no idea what to call this city. So if you have a suggestion, please leave it in the comments below. And as people file in, I really want to get the pedestrian areas. Cities should be made for people, not cars. So in order to make it a perfect city, we need walkable areas. How do we build this though? Little hamlet, schools, recycling, loans, taxes, fun. Oh yeah, we can just look at this. Worthy village gets districts. I think that that's what we need. We need the districts in order to get the walkable zones. Ooh, high capacity elementary school. That looks cool too. What else is new? Oh, tiny town. There's the pedestrian areas. Population of a thousand. Yeah, that won't be a problem. 
In the meantime, we'll just fill in the city with the necessities. But it might also be more efficient just to expand a little bit. Because once we get a thousand population in those pedestrian areas, I'm just gonna rework everything. And immediately, Worthy Village, more unlocks, districts, policies, emergency services, industry, soon. Self-sufficient buildings, also soon. Organic and local stuff, yes, 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 yes. All of the good things, please, thank you. And in no time, time need town, park areas, pedestrian areas. Ooh, we get industry already too? <laughs> I'm not gonna go too crazy with that this time, yet. And then look at all these new things. Three-way, one-way road, a million new paths, and like a million other things. But I mostly care about the pedestrian areas. So let's start with that. I have never messed with this before, so this is all brand new to me and we're gonna be completely changing our entire city. Uh, all of this is gonna be a pedestrian area. That's the point of the city. Everything should be walkable. Every square inch. Now, how do we make this a thing? Pedestrian areas, there is a service point. Distributes goods and collects garbage, okay. Uh, let's see. I think, in all realities, we're just gonna leave what we've built so far, and we're gonna kinda just start on the walkable city over here until it's self-sufficient. Then we'll nuke what we've already built. Seems a little weird, I know. That's just how we're gonna go about things. With $28,000, are we gonna be able to make an entirely new city? <laughs> Let's hope so. And because I don't really know what I'm doing at this point, I guess we'll start things off here. Small sandstone street. Oh, we have a bunch of streets. They're all pedestrian streets. Do we have to level up the pedestrian area? No, we just need a uh, population. Perfect. Trees? Beautiful trees? Yes. Can cars go on this? It says speed 20. Well, it says only pedestrians, emergency service vehicles, and hearses can use this street. Ah, good. So it connects up to our normal road network. And can we just zone whatever we want off of this? Like houses? It says it can. And then we have large cobblestone stuff. Ooh, bud! That looks so nice! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that was so expensive! Bruh! Okay, we need a little bit more money, and by a little bit more money, I mean a lot more money. Let's make more industry. I'll mess around with the good stuff in a moment. <laughs> the city's on the brink of bankruptcy, what do you mean? Accept? Reject? Wait, it's a free? $50,000 loan? Okay, why Why are we immediately, what? What? Why are we that in the red? Does this cost money? Th that's the only option. The pedestrian area costs money, but why? I only built like one service point. Plus the building's turned off and there's one road. Well then I guess the only explanation is we're just charged for how much area we zone as walkable. Which is like the dumbest mechanic imaginable. But what are you gonna do? I guess I'll have to save a bunch of money and then take a more reserved approach. Oh, and really good idea I waited. Now that we're a boom town, we have public transport. How can any good city not have good public transport? And with $100,000, I think we could make this dream a reality. So let's expand this again a bit. Let's see how we want to go about this. Uh, let's build a main road just in the center here. And how I'd like to develop this city is I want it to be centered around shops because everybody is always trying to get to the shops, of course. And then behind them, we could have tram tracks. And then we have little pedestrian streets. Oh, so this could connect up to the tram track. Oh, buddy. Because now we can go across here and we can have another one of these giant service roads, or more so like people arteries. And then we can have shops on this side too. So the noise from all the trams is stuck in between the stores. It's the perfect design. I love it. I love it. I love it. So then I guess like the giant roads aren't super necessary and we could kind of shrink them down. Just have to rezone, get rid of that. <gasps> Wait, ooh. And since we have that little bit of space, we can put a bike lane in here. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. And it just gets better, because on the other side, we can build trees. 
Actually, before I go much further, I should probably get rid of all of the maps trees. I don't know why, but they're not getting buried underneath the roads. It's probably because of one of the mods I'm using, though. Speaking of, all of the mods are listed at the bottom of my description, in case you're wondering what I'm using. Oh, by the way, I'm pretty sure we can just select these roads, and it changes the tree type out. Oh, I love this game! All right, we have our central shopping district type area. Now things get a little bit more difficult because we have to connect all of this to houses and then to the industry areas. We're always gonna need industry, no matter the city. So there do have to be car roads, but they could also have tram lines. So let's get that involved. But also we're gonna have to build houses around here too. So we don't want too much noise. Like we don't want the trams next door to a house, ideally. Plus we want some separation between the houses and the shops. So we're gonna build a bike lane right here, I guess so, and then mirror it on the other side. And then of course we have to surround all this with people because what's the point of all this if we don't have people to enjoy it? But wait, how can I enjoy this if it's not perfectly centered? Construction cost, 880. But to the left, it's 840. I see your lies. Is it better now? 840, 840, good. And we'll just add in those areas there. We'll give the people a school. Ooh, high capacity elementary. That looks so cool. And high school. <laughs> Once we get into uh, the skyscrapers and stuff, we'll build a lot more of them. For now, we'll build a community school just in here. I'd love to throw in a large playground right next door. Here, I have a bike lane going across. The store's right over there. Hmm. Can we move the school? We can. Then we could have the park here. Yeah, I like that idea. And lastly, we have this green space behind the school. And I noticed there is something else new with this DLC. There are plazas. So there's a small glass roof plaza. That's not what? It's not small at all. What are you talking about, brother? Looks really cool though. A statue plaza. No, I kind of want something in this space. What's this? Large ice cream plaza. Oh, you build it on the pedestrian street here. Neat. Small one. We can just build it on the side. Makes everybody super happy. Food trucks. Who doesn't like food trucks? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite DLCs. There's so many cool things to mess with. Then of course, all the decorations. And then I didn't even solve the problem with what to do with this space. Well, for one, I guess we're gonna have to abandon the bike lane. Then wait, can we just move some stuff around? Ooh, that's kind of nice. We could connect a path off the park to there. Oh, buddy, I think we're gaming. And by the park, we could have a medical clinic. And what other plazas did we have? Oh, we have a small ice cream stand. We're gonna have the ice cream stand next to the park. People in the park are like, yo, ice cream. Or people go to the doctor and are like, that sucked. And then they just go to the plaza next door. Cool. Well then the last little change then, we'll just throw in that road, get a extra little pedestrian path going through as well. I guess at this point, we can get rid of that, just replace it with more houses. And also, our bike infrastructure isn't gonna work. I was gonna have like bike lanes kinda going around the whole place as well, but it's not happening. Too many paths, not enough developed. Or wait, we could just have a bike lane going across on this side. Oh, and then people could go either to the center of town or to the other side of town just on their bikes. That's the play, easily done. And soon, we can get a road that just has bike lanes on it. Or can we get that now? No, soon. Soon we can get a bike lane road and just make this a bike road. And that can go across here. Oh yeah, plans are in motion. So let's get this started. Does it have power? It does. Uh, maybe we could focus on some wind power as well. Yes, we can start with the green stuff. Oh, and then our road with the tram. Well, we, again, we kind of have a money problem, so we'll deal with tram stuff in the future. Uh, not right now. Oh, and this field here. The field we can just decorate. We can add in some trees. It's nice to have just a little bit of green space every so often, especially by a school. Oh, and all the people are walking around. Yes. Look at them, they're right in the middle of the street. It's madness. No, it is modern society. How it should be. It's people walking places, riding their bikes, taking the tram. So much better. Oh, 
But there's like a little block thing to stop the vehicles from just going right into the area. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, those go up and down. <laughs> I have always wanted stuff like this in this game. This is so cool. Okay, but still, I want a couple minutes here just to add in all the fences and little details to make everything perfect. But okay, overall, I'd say things have gone pretty well. It's really interesting watching how the citizens move around and use these walkable areas. It looks like a lot of the time they're just trying to walk to the road to get in like their car, or <laughs> they're just walking down to work. Ah, yes, because of the old city still. Mm, well, now that we can do this and it's working really well, this is not long for this world, but we'll figure all that out next time. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye